Hey, I'm recording right now, so let's keep the dirty comments to a minimum. We've got the concrete pump here. The concrete pump is absolutely mandatory. It is expensive, but it allows us to pour concrete so much faster. And that allows us to do greater volumes of concrete at one time. Let's pump. We're just finishing up this interior footing. Let's just, if, I, I, instead of wasting it, we'll just put it in that pad down there. Whatever we got left. Hey, there's a whole bunch of concrete right here. Yeah, up front, grab that shovel on. Yeah, it's just filling up. I'll get it. I got it. Not only can I scoop concrete, but I can run a camera at the same time. Some of the many talents. <laughs> And occasionally I tell a joke or two. I don't know how else you do this without the pump. I mean, with, between the trees and and the spacing for, uh, for the walls there's no way yeah on top of our footings but at the bottom of our walls we use these metal spacers that hold our three quarter inch plywood in place exactly eight inches wide Get it all the way down in the bottom. That's some beautiful work. So, this box is going 
going to be our column that'll support our deck that goes around the cabin. We'll get it all laid out, get the holes drilled, fill them up with epoxy and pound the rebar in. That way the rebar will be exactly, exactly where it needs to be. Some people like to put their rebar in while the concrete is still wet, but we found that that sometimes conflicts with layout and it's easier to epoxy it after the fact and get it exactly where you want it. So that'll be center, where they cross will be center of the rebar. As per engineer's requirements. Beautiful. One more on the back. These hurricane straps are required to keep the house tied to the concrete foundation. Today we're going to pour some uh, foundation walls and we're also going to do these spot footings. Uh, the owners wanted square columns and these will support the deck outside their cabin. We've held these back so that the deck will cantilever out over them and you won't see them, they'll be hidden away and they'll have a, a really nice deck around two sides of the cabin. Now, when it comes to house plans, most house plans just have pretty pictures and no information. But these particular plans didn't have either pretty pictures or good information but we were able to try and figure it out and I think we've built a pretty fantastic footing and foundation to carry this new cabin. From a contractor's perspective, if you have the opportunity to spend a little extra on your house plans, I guarantee it will pay big dividends when it comes to the construction process. It takes a lot of time, effort, and energy to coordinate all of the different subcontractors, whether it be concrete, framing, finish, electric, plumbing, HVAC, all of those systems to bring them all together. And if you have a roadmap for everybody to follow that's easy to read and easy to understand, it's going to save a lot of time and a lot of money. And we're off to the races.
it's ready to get backfilled. This has been a great project, turned out. I really like the way that the snap tie forming system. So here it is, all the forms are stripped off, cleaned up, and it's ready to get backfilled. It will be pushing dirt up against the foundation and around all of the spot footings. It turned out really nice.